This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is a system that I just got through completing. And there's a lot of tweaking to be done on it. But a couple of the new modifications. That blue shield there goes to the positive link of the battery. And you can see what I've done. I've put a collar on it. So there's no chance of it hitting the top of the hood when it goes down, if it ever does touch it. I want to make sure that doesn't happen. The other thing, and I'm going to put another piece on top of that, the negative side goes here, which I'm going to fix that up too. But the negative we don't care about because everything in the car is negative, obviously. There's our bubbler. There's our reservoir. One of the things I've got to do is tighten everything up, but this will be first turn-on sequence, and I'm going to be running it down the road, and we're going to get some readings. First, we'll go in the cab here. Okay, we're in the cab right now, and you can see my two gate. And uh, our amp meter sitting over here. These are the two lights. I've got the red light, the green light, the red for the water sensor. So when the red light's on, there's no water or green light, of course, everything's okay. The other thing I want to sh show you is the switch I have here. It's normally a major override, but right now I hook it directly to the cell. So when we turn this switch on, that turns it off. So right now it's off. I'm going to turn it on. We'll see the amps jump. And I've got about 15 amps going through the cell right now. And the car is off, obviously. But if you look right here, you can see we're dragging it down to about 11. Now I'm going to turn the car over. Okay, I've got the car in idle position. You can see the volt meter there. We're around 14 volts, which is correct for the charger. Zero, zero. I'm going to turn the cell on right now. That's about 15. And if you notice, almost no draw at 15. I'll turn it off so you can watch the difference. Off. On. So we're running right now 15 through the system. And as you can see, we're under the hood. My thing is cut off. Remember, it's coming in straight through. Going right in underneath the air filter. So it's first coming from the cell, going around to the bubbler. The bubbler then goes around to the air filter. And you can take a good look in here. So we've got hydrogen oxygen now flowing through the bubbler. There's also a one-way valve here that hopefully when I turn this off, it's not going to suck the water back into the cell. This bubbler, the connection right here goes all the way down to the bottom, so it's kind of misleading when you see this. So there's a tube going all the way to the bottom. So what normally happens when you turn the cell off, you get a vacuum in here and the water gets drawn right back into the cell, which happened last year when I had it running. Now I've got this hooked up with a valve in here that's going to stop that, I hope. The amount of bubbles that are coming out right now is not enough for me. And the reason it's not coming out enough is because I still haven't sealed these hoses up yet. 
There's this pressure field and hydrogen gets out very easy. So when I do that, that should multiply the bubble system. The other thing that I did is I've got two seals, one on top of the other here, instead of one. You see what that will do. And that's sealing the, the cell. Can't really get a good look at that one. Really. So right now this is running. It's doing its job. But it's not finished yet. We haven't sealed everything up. And that's got a lot of work to do in that department. There's a few more pieces that have to be set here. And I'm going to run a flash system, or I'm going to have a filter system coming off of this right here. And there is the famous uh, O2 sensor. Uh, somewhere here. got all these splices here waiting to see what I'm going to do. So there's one of them. There's a second sensor off there. We'll take another look at the end. We're holding steady and there's your voltage. Gun the engine a little bit to see what goes on here. Here are all my splices. Today I'm going to be taking this out on a test run. And that's after I get these hoses sealed. The handheld camera, because I know it runs bumps all over the place. If you want to write me, you can write me at johnairons at hydrogencap.com. Or you can go to my site, hydrogencap.com, and see the cell. I'm doing a lot of modifications on this one. I, in the Honda, these guys, it's really been hard putting it in this. Okay, what I'm going to do is, right now there's no water in this tube at all. I'm going to turn it off and let's see if the... Of course, these aren't sealed very well, but we'll turn it off and see if we get any drawback. Okay, the cell is off. And look at that, no water. That is nice. That is very nice. No water. So from the center of that magnet to 